appeals to racial, sexual, and religious chauvinism, to rabid nationalist fervor, are beginning not to work. This is who I am, and whether I'm good or bad, or achieving or not, all that's learned along the way. Just ride. We can change it anytime we want. It's only a choice. No effort, no work, no job, no savings of money. I realized that I had the game wrong. That the game was to find out what I already was. We were saying how very important it is to bring about in the human mind the radical revolution. The crisis is a crisis in consciousness, a crisis that cannot anymore accept the old norms, the old patterns, the ancient traditions. And considering what the world is now, with all the misery, conflict, destructive brutality, aggression, and so on, man, he's still as he was, he's still brutal, violent, aggressive, acquisitive, competitive, and he has built a society along these lines. Society today is composed of a series of institutions. From political institutions, legal institutions, religious institutions, to institutions of social class, familial values, and occupational specialization, it is obvious the profound influence these traditionalized structures have in shaping our understandings and perspectives. Yet, of all the social institutions we are born into, directed by, and conditioned upon, there seems to be no system as taken for granted and misunderstood as the monetary system. Taking on nearly religious proportions, the established monetary institution exists as one of the most unquestioned forms of faith there is. How money is created, the policies by which it is governed, and how it truly affects society are unregistered interests of the great majority of the population.
In a world where 1% of the population owns 40% of the planet's wealth. In a world where 34,000 children die every single day from poverty and preventable diseases. And where 50% of the world's population lives on less than $2 a day. One thing is clear. Something is very wrong. And whether we are aware of it or not, the lifeblood of all of our established institutions, and thus society itself, is money. Therefore, understanding this institution of monetary policy is critical to understanding why our lives are the way they are. Unfortunately, economics is often viewed with confusion and boredom. Endless streams of financial jargon coupled with intimidating mathematics quickly deters people from attempts at understanding it. However, the fact is, the complexity associated with the financial system is a mere mask, designed to conceal one of the most socially paralyzing structures humanity has ever endured.